Owning a dog can be very rewarding, but can also have its challenges too. Magnus has been having some trouble recently with his bowels and going at irregular times. Uh, we're not sure if he's eating something he's not supposed to, so we keep an eye on this for the next few days, make sure he's okay and that he's not suffering. Since Magnus has been having the stomach issues, we've switched his diet to plain rice and boiled chicken. Magnus may be having the stomach issues, but his appetite is still there. He's still as hungry and as ravenous as ever. All right, so Magnus has had some stomach issues, so we're taking him to the vet. Not his favorite place in the world, but best place to get him checked out. Well, we've just been to the vet and Magnus had his little examination, so I decided to keep him off food for the day and then put him on the special canned food for the next four days to see if his stomach settles down and if he's okay. Magnus is okay on the canned food for the first day and he seemed to be back to normal, but then a couple of days later, it seemed to go back to how it was before. So keep an eye on this, make sure he's okay. Currently 10 to 3 in the morning. Uh, Mang's has an upset stomach, so we're out. Give him a little chance to use the bathroom. Has some really, really soft stools. So we'll keep an eye on this for the next few days. See how he's doing. So I've got a little jar here. Actually, I have to collect a sample from his business, which he's just done. For the vet. So we're back at the vet with Magnus. He's still been having some diarrhea, so we're going to get a second checkup. Got a little poo sample as well. So, okay, Magnus. Okay. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. Well done. Okay. Right, Magnus is not the biggest fan of the vet and he tends to have his tail tucked tight between his legs when he does first arrive so try and settle down, a little bit of petting and eventually he will calm down and have a little sit on the floor just before his appointment. Well, Magnus is back from the vet now. He had his full thorough examination. He got three injections, which he was very good in getting those. He was a perfect gentleman, very calm, very relaxed. But he's got fast for the next 24 hours. And then we've got a probiotic to basically add to his food for the next four days. So we'll see how he does. But have a little rest, Magnus, after all the drama of the vet. Well, it's the day after Max was at the vet. He didn't enjoy his day of fasting one bit. He was lying on the kitchen floor, giving a sad look, explaining, why won't you feed me? But he will get to eat today, so I'm sure he'll be happy about that once the food turns up. So it's Max's first meal since he's fasting. He's got this vet pro, uh, pro probiotic to add to the food, which tonight is again is chicken and rice. So just add it on top, squeeze it in, give a little mix around, and then basically it's ready to serve to Magnus. So we'll see if he enjoys it. Wait. All right, take it. Well, Magnus really enjoyed his dinner. He's now got a full belly, so what better thing to do than have a little nap? So for the next couple of days, we're going to slowly introduce his old diet uh, and hopefully get him back on his regular bowel movements. Okay, 
right, right. That's a good boy. Good boy. Oops, nope. Psych. That's a good boy.